Are you guys ready for your next comic tonight? Give a round of applause to everybody so far. It's been a real hot show. All the way from Ottawa, I this she's been tearing up the circuit, and I'm very happy to have been able to bring her down here today. I've been wanting to work with her for a long time, and tonight is the night. Please uh, give it up for Simon Holder, everybody. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for coming out. Oh, this slopes a little bit. I might fall off. <laughs> Don't worry. I apologize if I land on you. So, to continue with the, the death thing, my parents aren't here because they're both dead. Yeah. And uh, during the Winter Olympics, one of my favorite games to play is Count the Black People. And I can play that game tonight. Yeah, one. <laughs> Me. So... Don't let this, don't let this pretty, resting, nice face and pleasant demeanor fool you. I hate everything and everyone. Okay? I like my men the way I like my, I like my men the way I like my teeth. Straight and white. And uh, I look like a millennial, but I'm not. I'm Gen X, I'm 53. Black don't crack. Black don't crack. I know, I look good, I look great. So what that means, being Gen X, what that means is I'm not conventionally crazy anymore. <laughs> like this, this new crazy is mature, you know, a little subdued, kind of sexy, you know? I get great insurance rates. And uh, if I'm upset with you or pissed off at you, I'll treat you the same, which should leave you terrified and confused. So... When we were in full lockdown, how many of you felt judged because you weren't learning Mandarin or exercising six, seven hours a day? Yeah, me too. Yeah, I'm with you. But the thing is, I wanted to learn stuff that would, you know, give me an advantage for when we were allowed to go out, get naked, and get our fuck on again. So I tried to teach myself how to squirt. Yeah. Didn't go well for me. Squirting is hard. Oh my God, it requires a level of friction that I'm not comfortable with. And focus and concentration that I just don't have. So, I gave that up. I gave that up. Who here is DTF? Anyone here DTF? Yeah, woo, I'm always DTF, dying to fart. I can't wait to get back to my car, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> like I grew up, I grew up in white spaces, so I know your ways. Um, and one of the things that, one of the things I cannot get behind is how white people love the woods. I don't understand that. You die in the woods. Like why do you die? Oh, I need to clear my head. I'm going to go into the woods. You will die. Don't go. Don't do it. Don't do it. I don't understand. Like, if you ever see my fat black ass in the woods, know that I am lost and actively trying to die. Call for help. Call for help, please. So, um, I'm single. Oh, thank you. So, I don't mind being single. I like being in a relationship but I hate dating. Oh, I fucking hate it. God. Because the thing is, I never feel like I'm being courted. I feel like I'm being lured. You know? And the thing is, all of this cannot be explained or contained in a dating profile. Like, in a dating profile, you don't get my essence. You don't get my sex appeal. You can't feel my big, round-ass energy. You know? And uh, people still try to encourage me to go online, knowing how much I hate it. I really hate it. And they're like, oh, you never know, you never know. And I'm like, true, okay, I'll give you that. You never know. I could meet the love of my life or my killer on Tinder. You know, I guess that's part of the thrill of online dating. But uh, the last nine months have been pretty bleak 
you're pretty lonely for me, so I don't even care if you're a killer at this point. <laughs> Just put me out of my misery. Either kill me, get in here, or stop wasting my time and get the fuck out. <laughs> I dread the part of a relationship where a man feels comfortable enough with me to uh, share his kink because I fucking hate it. Oh my God. Because the thing is, I'm always worried that I'm the kink because it's happened. It's happened. Uh, I've always wanted to be slept around during sex by a beautiful, voluptuous black woman. Good for you, Kyle. Thanks for sharing, you kinky fuck. Oh my God. And the thing is, I can't even slap Kyle because I'll be fulfilling his fetish. So I have no choice but to punch him in the dick instead. Ladies, we've all dealt with a Kyle before, haven't we? Yeah? Uses magnums, doesn't need to. Yeah. I don't have any kinks myself. Unless, I don't know, unless fucking younger white men is a kink. You know? I have a strong rule against faking. I don't fake. You know, you know what I'm talking about. I don't fake. It's a waste of time. It doesn't do anybody any good. I'm not going to go so far as to say I've never faked it. But like when I was younger, I faked it out of like to protect a fragile ego. You know what I'm talking about. So, you know, it, it, it was done. And there are some situations where faking is necessary. Like, for example, I had, some man had a lofty goal and declared, I'm not stopping until I make you come. And I was like, oh, great, here we go. Fuck. So, oh, geez. So I had to, you know, get my Academy Award performance going. So it's a lot of like, ooh, oh, yeah. You're the king. You're the king. Oh, my God, you're the king. Ah. You know, so... It was fine because, you know, we, we both benefited. He was happy and my clit stayed intact. So it was all good. Win-win. Win-win. I once, I once ate a man's cooking for the sake of our relationship. You thought I was going to say his ass. Yeah, all of you thought I was going to say his ass. His ass would have tasted better. Actually, I had to eat his ass to get the taste out of my mouth. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. People like to ask me why I'm still single. And don't ask people that. That's rude. Anyway, I tell them it's because I'm cursed. Like, I was cursed when I didn't forward that chain email back in 1997. You know the one where... If I didn't forward it to 100 people within three minutes, my sweet, wet-ass pussy would go to waste? Yeah, that's the one. It's, it's working. It's working. The most awkward part about having this post-baby body is the fact that I haven't had any babies. I feel like I haven't earned it. And um, I'm fat, in case you guys are blind. <laughs> but the thing is, whenever I say that I'm fat, there's always some cunt who's got to say, oh, no, 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 don't say that. You're beautiful. You're really pretty. And I'm like, bitch, I know. I said I was fat, not ugly. Jeez. Jeez. medical condition though it's called bitch put that burger down syndrome and my ideal weight is Sidney Crosby on top of me yeah yeah you know? but the thing is I'm not gonna my weight's not gonna affect anything I will sit on your face I'm, I'm going to sit on your face you know I'm gonna get on top I'm gonna ride you like a fucking dolphin at SeaWorld okay I'm gonna fuck you like I hate you, because I probably do. You know? And it, it, if you die, you die. That's my time. Thank you so much. Simone Holder, everybody! Fuck, does anyone else have a hard on right now? Jesus.
So here's the thing, right? You guys came here tonight, and you saw this plexiglass, and you were like, oh, good, it's a COVID regulation. They're protecting us. No, we just heard she was trying to teach herself how to squirt, so we were protecting the front row. Right? We didn't want Le Maison to have to change their name to fucking SeaWorld tonight. But the best part, she's coy though, right? See these ladies, they're smart. They're like, guys, I took the uh, quarantine time to teach myself how to squirt. 38 seconds later, she's like, so I'm single, right? <laughs> that was great, that was great.